On the battlefield, you have to make decisions quickly and correctly and accurately or people die. I was in a line unit, so my job was obviously to take care of patients. But my bigger job was to advise the commander. Do we need a helicopter? Do we really need to evacuate the soldier? You have traumatic amputations. You have pneumothorax. You have hemothorax. You have intraperitoneal fluid, pericardial tamponade. You name it, you're going to see it in Iraq. So you transition from an area where you have every piece of equipment at your beck and call into Iraq. You have your hands and you have your stethoscope and that's it. Once you get the ultrasound machine, you can now look at people and say, do they have evidence of a pneumo, yes or no? Do they have evidence of blood in their belly? Do they have fluid around their heart? And you can answer these questions in seconds. I'm a little bit passionate because I mean, you think about patients who come into the ER. I mean, they're deserving of healthcare. No one would debate that. But take a look at the soldier. The way they make a living is by protecting our rights. We take a piece of equipment, which relatively is inexpensive compared to most things we buy, whether it's in a hospital or for the military. And it can dramatically change our ability to say, this person really is sick. This person really does have this injury, or this person doesn't need to be evacuated right now. We can take our time, we can do it safer, we can put less people's lives at risk. That to me is the beauty of ultrasound because who is more deserving than the people who really give without any thought to themselves so much to us every single day. And by taking this piece of technology, we can make it safer for them to do that very dangerous job. I guess for me, ultrasound really is peace of mind. They can have so much more information so that they can be certain that they're providing the best health care for that soldier. Mm -hmm.